Window tiling in macOS Sequoia allows us to quickly place any window into half or quarter of our display. This can be done by dragging the window, hovering over the green full screen button, accessing the menu bar, or by utilizing a keyboard shortcut. Let's start with the dragging option. I have a calendar window here, and if I drag this to the left, when my cursor or pointer arrow gets to the very edge, an outline of half my display appears. Release and the calendar window will fill that area. To quickly get back to the previous size, just move the window out of that area. Next, let's drag the window up. When the cursor crosses into the menu bar, an outline appears for the entire display. This doesn't put the calendar app into full screen mode. It only expands the window to fill the display, which will cover up the other windows if there are any open. Full screen mode will move the app into its own desktop. Again, we can move the window to return it to its previous size. We can also resize the window like normal after tiling it. Next, let's drag into the top left corner. That gives me a quarter display window option. Release to place the window in that section. Let's do the same with the Notes app to the upper right. When dragging into the corner, you need to be pretty precise. If I'm just a little bit off, the full or half screen tiling option will appear instead. And if you drag too far into any area, no tiling option will appear. I already have a habit of moving windows into a corner, but I don't always want them to tile to a full, half, or quarter of the display. So in desktop and dock settings, we can deactivate the tile by dragging option. With this off, I can now move any windows into the corner and not have the tiling outline automatically appear. But if I hold down the option key while dragging, the half tile options will appear right away. Drag to the top for the fill screen option and drag to the top or bottom corners to make the quarter options appear. If you don't want option drag to activate tiling, that can also be turned off here in settings. When hovering over the green full screen button in any window, we're presented with two sets of tiling options. The top row represents options for only the selected window. We're able to tile to half of the display, either side, top, or bottom. The other windows on the display are not affected. This bottom row will arrange the other windows on the display along with the one that is selected. If I choose the half and half option here, it will tile the selected window and the one directly behind it, which in this case is the Notes app window. We're able to tile all three windows on the display with this option. The selected window fills the left half of the display and the other two windows get a quarter each on the opposite side. If I add another window, we're able to tile all four in quarters. From the window menu, we have a move and resize section. In here, there are eight tiling options for just the currently selected window and five more that will arrange multiple windows on the display. Oddly, this arrange menu doesn't have the three window option that we just used from the full screen button. I'd hope that those are added here eventually. Notice that many of these tiling options also have keyboard shortcuts. 
So with these, we can quickly tile a window to the left half of the display with the shortcut Control Function Left Arrow. The function key is also known as the globe key, and on current Mac keyboards, it's in the far lower left, right next to the control key. As you learn these shortcuts, this can be the quickest way to tile windows. Function control and whatever arrow key to tile to half the display. Once we do that to one window, just select another and use the same shortcut with the opposite arrow to fill the display with those two windows. Or add shift to the same shortcuts to instantly tile and arrange your top two windows. This can seem like a lot of buttons to hold down at once, but the first three are all in the same area of the keyboard, so you're really just worried about the arrow key. The shortcut Function Control R will work to return a window to its previous size, along with just dragging it. So far, my tiled windows all have had space between them. To utilize every bit of screen real estate, we're able to turn off margins for tiled windows. With this deactivated, the windows are going to butt up right against each other, maximizing their size. Utilizing tiling can be a great way to quickly resize and arrange one or multiple windows on your Mac's display.